Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Journal with Tanishq and today I'm here with a new video for you guys and it is mainly targeted uh, to the audience who usually is a watercolor beginner and are not able to blend the watercolors into a perfect gradient. This is actually a problem that every uh, watercolor beginner faces but usually you get a hold of it once you start getting used to the watercolors. So let's get into the making of a perfect gradient using watercolors well usually uh, speaking from the side of a watercolor beginner the watercolor beginners usually tend to apply a lot of water on the watercolor paper because they are told to apply uh, water before starting their painting and that's absolutely right to do especially when you're making a gradient but um, the watercolor beginners add a lot of water because they, uh, the amount of water uh, uh, that should be applied on the paper is not specified. So people um, add a lot of water and that actually leads to the cauliflower effect on your watercolor painting which is also not bad but if you're aiming for a smooth perfect gradient then i think applying loads of water which i'm just doing right now to just um, kind of imitate what a watercolor beginner usually does uh, that is what i was trying to imitate during this video so this is what a watercolor beginner might end up getting while making a gradient. Um, the hopes might be high, but the way of doing uh, the watercolor painting um, is wrong. Uh, especially while making the gradient, you need to be um, accurate with the amount of water and the color you're applying on the paper. Um, the water, especially um, the loads of amount of water ends up um, being at the edges or um, the paper when buckles up the water settles down in the middle of the paper like like this exactly so so this usually results in a buckled up paper non-even gradient and also water settled on all the corners well till now what i showed you was what a watercolor beginner usually does while he or she makes their watercolor painting on the other hand i now start making what a usual experienced watercolor uh, person or the artist would usually do well um, you usually start off by applying water on the paper that is enough to bring a gloss on it and then you start applying the colors the colors usually start blending on their own when you apply enough amount of water for them to smudge and not to float on the entire paper so you uh, usually start off color by color by red on the top and blue in the bottom i usually use a mixture of cobalt blue and prussian blue in the bottom and cobalt and I think sorry crimson red on the uh, top and I think those colors look really good together so I usually like this gradient a lot um, you usually need to bring the colors uh, near to each other so that they can mix and applying a lot of water can result in the first type of painting that you see is completely mixed and uneven but that effect also is really good for especially a cloud effect when you use a tissue paper and that is what a, a watercolor artist usually does. So applying lots of water and mixing them again and again can usually result in the first type of watercolor painting. But in the second case, I applied enough amount of water that is just uh, to bring a gloss on the paper and can also easily smudge the watercolors and that was it i just keep i i kept on repeating the entire step again and again in the second watercolor painting until and unless the two watercolors mixed properly and then i got a result of my um, painting by using some color and water and mixing them up with water in the middle first you usually need to start from the uh, color that will not leave a lot of effect on the um, other color like if i mixed cobalt blue i mean um then with the crimson red then it won't result uh, in a lot of uh, color mixture with the uh, crimson red but if i start mixing up with crimson red towards cobalt blue then the entire cobalt blue might turn purple so you usually even need to be careful with this step of um, where to where you want to uh, start off your gradient then I just peeled off the entire tapes and then I think I made a Polaroid kind of uh, a painting this time and I really like the look of how it exactly turned out because I think Polaroids look really good 
and uh, that was a little mark where I think I always correct my mistakes using a correction tape even on watercolor papers because they're not visible a lot and then I was done with the entire painting I hope you liked it and if you did then make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel